For months, Republican power players were spitting mad over Ukraine. But they banded together and made sure lots of money went over there to stop Putin's power grab, his invasion. But when Biden's crooked attorney general invades the former president's house and abuses his power, I don't hear much. I mean, have you? You'd think Republicans would be on every TV channel saying how outrageous this is. No. A lot of them are on vacation. We've had some on this week, but it hasn't been a lot. When are we going to hear anything from these guys? Ned Ryan is the founder of American Majority, and he joins me now. Ned, I mean, geez, you talk about these guys are for limited government. They're against the, the abuse of, of federal power. <laughs> they're, they're for personal privacy, private property. And, 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 and to protect the authority of the commander in chief as the executive uh, of, of the country? I, wait, hello? Well, Has anybody heard anything from anybody on the Republican Party about this raid? Well, the, the left banks on getting away with their abuse of power because of a feckless GOP and Republican establishment is more than happy to oblige them. I was stunned. I found it repulsive that Republican Senate leadership couldn't be bothered to say anything about the thuggish FBI raid on a Republican president on Tuesday. Mitch McConnell wanted to talk about flood relief. John Thune was tweeting from, from a state fair. John Cornyn wanted to talk about Ukraine. Tim Scott and Little Linz wanted to talk, oh, we should trust and let the process play out. Are you kidding me? A process in which a DOJ and an FBI took a conspiracy-laden dossier formulated by the Democratic Party to secure four FISA warrants to spy on the duly elected president of the United States? You mean that process? Anyone insane enough to say that is unfit for office in these times, Jesse. I'm convinced that that demented weasel, Merrick Garland, <laughs> is going to try and get Donald Trump indicted by a rigged D.C. jury before the midterms. In these times, we don't need strongly worded letters. We don't need worthless oversight hearings. We need defund, dismantle, and people need to go to jail. The reason that they keep on getting away with this is because nobody has consequences. Nobody, nobody went to jail for the abuse of the Russian collusion conspiracy spygate stuff. Because nobody went to jail, there were no consequences. They're going to continue to do this until we actually forcefully confront them and say we're going to dismantle the FBI and people will go to jail for their abuse of power. We're going to continue to see more of the same. We actually need real Republican leadership, and we have not seen any of it so far. Yeah, that's probably why the feds were in his storage facility. They probably had declassified <laughs> Spygate documents they were trying to secure before he got those out. All right. I, I mean, I just surprised. can't imagine if, if Trump sent guys with guns to turn... Jill Biden's bedroom upside down. I mean, they, they, there, there, would, there would be a coup. There would be 100%. a revolution in this country on the left. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.